morning European traders privateer FX going over the European open this morning main focus is going to be on the euro inflation numbers specifically the core inflation that's going to be released at 11 central European time as you can see we have this double top now up here at 90 on 2092 this is a consensus trade there will be uh, large CTAs and asset managers buying euros through the highs if we get up there so based on the momentum flow that should result from that we will be doing the same for now we sit tight 7071 been very very quiet almost eerily quiet overnight we also have non-farm payrolls today and the Canadian employment numbers today. So it's not unusual that it's extremely quiet. It's going to be quite interesting because if inflation misses, there are already some sizable euro longs that were put on yesterday. Uh, this could really hurt positioning which is long and the consensus which is bullish but I have a feeling this is going to come in stronger and the market's going to get what they want on this so we'll see dollar yen traded up through 113 last night high of 07 this is typical heading into non-farm payrolls 190 consensus today we're just going to ignore the ADP report because it's really not correlated at all to non-farm payrolls but also I just want to indicate that non-farm payrolls has become less and less important to the market this is an inflation and interest rate driven market this is not an employment driven market it's still important obviously if this is a massive miss it's, it's important but it's less important than it used to be. What else is out there? Aussie yen, we got what we wanted yesterday. That was nice. Up through 41. Now, uh, if you're still long, which we're not, we squared up uh, end of the day yesterday, up at 65. If you're still long, it looks all right. 44 low last night higher highs higher lows the problem with going into FOMC with positions there's all kinds of uh, messy messy price action around the release of these numbers so we like to be square going into them uh, anyway that looks pretty solid still dovetails on higher equities cable did not get through 135 yesterday. That's kind of interesting. The market is basically defined by this bar from the third day of the year. It'll be important if we make new highs through 136.12. It'll be equally important, and I would argue more important, if we go through the lows at 135 for figure. That's one Brexit headline away, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so be on your toes and keep an eye on that. We also got what we wanted in Kiwi yesterday. 71.31 broke nicely. Uh, Kiwi looks like it can extend. It's basically trading around the big dollar. So if Euro dollar does go higher and you are still long Kiwi, a good sign if euro dollar goes lower you might want to trim your kiwi because kiwi aussie and canada right now are are just following the big dollar in general no drama uh to the cryptos ethereum through a thousand wow and bitcoin doing nothing Let's take a look at our little favorite here. Nine 
Nimic is at five bucks. It's not bad. Up four hundred percent from where we where we got long at the ICO. We really like this Nimic. It's not really part of the big crypto bunch yet, but when they open it for mining on the browsers, we feel like this is when it's going to gain traction. This will be March. So keep an eye on this one, Nimic. Anyway, that's all for now. We wait for these inflation numbers. Otherwise, we're going to be pretty quiet. And I will see you at the New York Open. Ciao.